Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As the Dutch export ban to China is about to take effect, ASML announced that it has cancelled some export licenses for its two lithography systems NXT, 2050i and NXT, 2100i, which has affected some customers in China. However, it is worth noting why the Dutch government revoked the export license in advance. In fact, this is mainly due to pressure and instigation from the United States. According to a report from Observer.com, Sullivan, the U.S. president's national security adviser, called the Dutch government at the end of last year and asked them to speed up the tightening of exports of lithography machines to China. Although the Netherlands initially opposed this, the Dutch government finally asked ASML to discuss specific matters with the United States out of consideration for consistency with the United States. Regarding the specific discussions, there was no definite news from the outside world until ASML issued a statement confirming the early cancellation of some orders for lithography machines from China. Although reporters tried to verify the authenticity of the news, neither the National Security Council of the White House nor the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Netherlands made comments. Representative Hamelberg of the 66th Democratic Party of the Netherlands said in an interview that he is very disgusted with the United States' practices in this regard. The Netherlands has reached an agreement with the United States, South Korea and Japan on chip export licenses, but if the United States goes beyond this limit and forces the Netherlands to be consistent with it, this has affected the Netherlands' strategic autonomy. Based on the above information, the possibility of pressure from the United States cannot be ignored. They are not only satisfied with blocking China, but also hope to be consistent with their allies and expand their attack on China. This behavior reflects the epitome of America's aggressive mentality. The United States is trying to prevent China from catching up in the semiconductor field. Last December, at the annual Reagan Defense Forum in California, U.S., Commerce Secretary Raimondo threatened that in order to prevent China from catching up with the United States in cutting-edge semiconductors, the Commerce Department's Bureau of Industry and Security, which manages U.S. export controls, would need Congress to provide more funding. Now it seems that the United States has indeed consciously accelerated the pace of blocking China's semiconductor development. In the short term, this approach does have a certain effect, but in the long term, it actually forces China to speed up the process of independent research and development. ASML President Peter Wen has publicly stated many times, that it is impossible to isolate China. If the West refuses to share technology, China will invest more time and energy in independent research and eventually come up with innovative solutions that the West has never imagined. Attempting to isolate China through technological blockade and export controls is hopeless and will instead weaken the West itself. Van der Putten, a Dutch expert on China issues, also holds the same view. He believes that Peter Wynne's approach, at the business level, is understandable. China's dependence on Western technology is actually a good thing. 
Sanctions against China can only affect the technological balance in the short term, but the damage to the Western economy will be long term. Some analysts believe that China's system determines that it can promote independent research and development of semiconductors at a speed unimaginable in the West. Although this process may be difficult and long, once China gets through this, the West will completely lose the leverage to compete with it. Huawei's smartphone Mate 60 Pro is equipped with the Kirin 9000S chip, which has initially proved the failure of the US's semiconductor restriction policy against China. China pays attention to and urges the Netherlands to cooperate. The United States pressure on the Netherlands has also attracted China's attention. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesperson Wang Wenbin said at a regular press conference that China has taken note of the relevant reports. China opposes the U.S. technological blockade and urges the Netherlands to adhere to an objective and fair stance, abide by market principles, respect the spirit of the contract, and safeguard the common interests of the two countries and their companies. Looking back on the past few years, Leading semiconductor companies around the world have been at a loss as to what to do and are in trouble due to the United States' suppression of China. They can only watch helplessly as China gradually increases its semiconductor self-sufficiency rate and at the same time accumulates anger and dissatisfaction with the United States as it loses its market. This kind of blockade and suppression will only have an impact on the technological balance in the short term, but the damage to the Western economy will be long term. China's rapid development and improvement in independent research and development capabilities have made the West worried. The only thing they can do is to cooperate with China to jointly promote scientific and technological progress and innovative development. The Dutch ban on China took effect, and ASML announced the cancellation of some export licenses for NXT 2050i and NXT 2100i lithography systems. This is mainly due to pressure and instigation from the United States. The United States is trying to prevent China's development in the semiconductor field and has accelerated its efforts to prevent China's independent research and development of semiconductors. However, the Netherlands and other countries are aware of China's technological strength and market potential, and they hope to maintain cooperation with China to jointly promote scientific and technological progress and innovative development. Blockades and restrictions will only affect the technological balance in the short term, but the damage to Western economies will be long term. With the gradual rise of China's semiconductor industry, Western countries have begun to feel pressure and uneasiness. They need to re-examine their strategies and cooperation methods. Under the trend of global economic integration, countries should jointly promote scientific and technological development and achieve a win-win situation based on cooperation.